Burgess. 40 players are split into four teams. There are seven kits that players can choose from. Each team has their own island full of resources to be gathered in 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, the bridges fall and spawn, connecting the islands for players to battle it out for the last team or the last man standing. It's a simple premise, really, but it became so much more under the surface. Friendships formed. Teams formed. Leagues formed. What is the point of this simple, small game? I'll never forget the first game I ever recorded and uploaded. The joy I felt in that moment. I was massively happy with my minuscule achievement. I'll never forget starting Aceless. A team of idiots. Just so many idiots. But I don't know what other idiots I would have chosen when we made that team. And shortly after the Bridges community was introduced to the Bridges Competitive League. Our little game just expanding more. And more. Everybody your kid? Everyone your kid? And I remember our first win against yeah. Dauntless. Let's go! Let's go! Yeah! <laughs> nice! <laughs> As well as our first loss in the BCL to Lenny Face. Run, 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 run. Oh man. We, we really did. We, we shouldn't have bought it. Oh. I can't remember all of the many wins in Sharpness 5, but I'd had a lot of hilarious epic memories against that team. But eventually, it all changed. The community changed. For today, the game remained the same, but we had all changed. Black. For a lot of us, those small moments of joy after winning a game of scrim a season diminished. Our flames of passion just slowly burning out. We quit a couple of times. <laughs> and you know, nobody ever really stays gone for long in these communities. But what changed for us when we returned? What new thing constantly brought us back into the cycle of insanity, playing the same game the same way and expecting a different experience? Nothing. Nothing massive changed, and many small things changed for the worse, actually. The game had remained the same except for a few brand new maps, but for the most part, it was the same thing we left and paradoxically returned to. And it might seem from the tone of this video that I just don't get the allure of the simple game. That'd be a lie. So I've been playing it for years. You know, even when we quit, when I quit for a year and a half during the second semester of my junior year, I still went back and watched the wild bits. Why? Because even when I wasn't interested in the game, I love to go back and replay some of those moments. Well, on the surface, there were videos of a kid screaming in his mic at Applers oh and my gosh. and okay, other you're... stupid things to be yelling oh at. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. But there was another story in them. They told the story of stress-free days. Simpler times. Hours spent laughing at the dumbest things and rejoicing in the smallest victories. And of course, I thought about you guys too. My viewers. A day didn't go by where I didn't think I could have done a much better job for you. The few who still watch my videos and awaited new ones patiently. You deserved better. You deserved quality content. And the other day someone asked me why I quit. And the answer is, I don't know. But you guys deserve because, my dearest viewers, all 100, 300, 500 of you, it's with genuine excitement that I can say that this is the end, or at least the finale. One last bridge. The truth is, I don't know if I'll ever get the opportunity to come back again after this next huge break, so I want to do this for all of those I'm truly grateful for. The server could be dead, the community could finally be fed up with bridges, or everyone's moving on to Hightail, which probably could happen. I don't know if the game will still be here, which is why I'm doing this. Because if I don't have the opportunity to return, I want to at least 
give it a solid ending. But we're going to do it right. We're going to be doing a live stream on August 10th at 3 p.m. EST, and we'll also be doing a Q&A at the same time. I guess I'll be taking questions during the little mining phase. And I'll post a lobby so you guys can join, which I highly doubt you guys will be able to kill me. I'm going to have a pretty OP team. And yeah, in all seriousness, thank you, all of you, for the memories you've given me over these three years. It's been a hell of a ride. And I look forward to seeing some of you next week on Saturday for one last bridge. Thanks.